Hey guys, George here from MyNaturalHerniaCare.com with another hernia belt review. And this time I'm going to be doing the Neo G hernia support belt. This one you can get in left, right, or both sides. They sell it all three ways. And these are about $35 online. This one was super basic. That's why I wanted to try it. Uh, it's just again like this, one of the other ones that I did in another video. It's just a strap and the one strap that goes down around the leg, you know. Um, it's got this big pad that is concave that actually you know pushes into the hernia and it's adjustable with the velcro so you can put it kind of angle it however you want to angle it um, this strap is adjustable too on the waist strap like that and then the leg strap is adjustable here through you know put it through the loop and then it comes down and latches onto itself for me, this is another one that I had to take off like right away because this pad is really hard. It's not squishy at all. I mean, you can see I'm pushing pretty hard on it and it doesn't, it barely moves at all. So that, that convex pad was really pushing into my hernia and, and it was really uncomfortable really fast. Um, and it's super bulky. The strap is, is really big, fat rides up around kind of like when you're doing stuff you're bending over it kind of rides up around your back like this underneath your shorts kind of sag down underneath it and also what also makes it bulky is that that big strap has to fold down onto itself to make you know look how much thicker that is than just the one strap itself once you fold it down onto it onto itself plus it's got this hardware which makes it kind of bulky same thing in the front like when you strap it together it just it makes it really thick um, and this big thick leg strap which also by the way doesn't really give you that much adjustment because you only have this amount of velcro so if you got to pull it through if you got to tighten it up and you got to pull it through now you have no you have no adjustment there because now you're past the loop side of the velcro so basically that's the only place that you could put the leg strap to t to make it tight so if that's not tight enough for you you're kind of out of luck and the same thing goes for the waist strap the waist strap you only have this amount of adjustment if you're doing something strenuous or trying to work out or whatever and you got to you want to try and tighten it up you can't you got no nowhere to tighten it up to other than just that one spot where the velcro hits and then you, know, you see how thick that is when those two pieces of fabric are together two pieces of elastic and i never tried this one surfing or anything like that because of that pad, I really couldn't, I couldn't even wear it because of that, because it got uncomfortable so fast that I just, I couldn't even wear it. I tried to wear it one day, you know what I mean? I, I couldn't make it through the day with it, so. The true test, like I said, my other videos, true test for me is to put it on under, piece, under a pair of surf trunks and see if it would even, you know, if I wouldn't, if I'd be embarrassed walking down the beach with no shirt on, then the instant no-go for me. And this one, actually, I already knew that it wouldn't because of that convex pad. It's gonna just make the shorts stick way out in the front. So, uh, but I'll put it on underneath the surf trunk so you can get a better, a better look at what it looks like when it's actually on, all right? So here it is underneath the surf trunks. You can see it's already pushing out the surf trunks pretty good on the front because of that big adjustment Velcro, how thick it gets up there, and that big bulky pad. That's the view from all the way around. I could probably, you know, I could pull these up to, so it wouldn't be sticking out. And it wouldn't be too bad around the back. But just that front, the way it sticks out like that, that's that wouldn't be good. And and honestly, I, it, the pad feels, is digging into my, the where I have the hernia so bad that I almost can't even keep it on right now it hurt because it hurts, because that pad is so hard. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. So you can get a view of what it looks like from the top. And I mean, you can see, look at the space right here next to the pad, you know, how much that thing's actually pushing into the hernia and how thick that, that adjustment strap is. So, so yeah, like I said in some of the other videos, um, you know, that might, it might work for some people, um, but for me, for my lifestyle, it just, that, that was a no-go as soon as I put it on, I felt that pad digging into the hernia. Said that, you know, if you're trying to heal your hernia naturally, that's the most important thing is to get a hernia support that actually 
works that you can wear all day, every day, and do all your activities and things like that without having to think about the hernia too much. Um, and this one just didn't cut it for me, but you know, to each his own. Hopefully this video will help you make a more informed decision and find one that you'll actually be able to wear and will help you heal. So if uh, you have any questions, let me know and keep an eye out for my other videos. I did a bunch of other review videos for hernia belts as well. So um, take a look at those also. All right guys, hang in there. Yeah. <laughs>